Hey guys, we're playing Prey Fight, and basically is basically it's not a survival game, but you're just gonna upgrade and stuff. Let's do this one. You gotta survive as long as possible. You wanna collect the coins because you need that to upgrade. Mine is just basically gather them into a little ball and just basically go around them. That's what I do. Four seconds till wave two. Let's continue. You need the coins to upgrade and you know the gems up there on the Right side, right top stop side, you need those purple gems to upgrade also. So, do get those souls. It's hard to get. Let's take an educated guess that we can actually tank and take some damage. We do heal over time. Let's continue. And basically, you want to continue till you die. Let's get that. Like he's dropping it right now. You want to be near that coin bag. Try to get that soul. Run beneath that gap. Once you see that, just abuse these gaps. That wasn't good. You want to actually lower them all the way here so you walk around. Too many bats. We took a lot of hits. Let's continue. And it will respawn you where you actually stopped. Those golems, it kind of reminds me of those golems, you know, in Felador mining. On bottom of it, there are some golems. But people rock fish there, or rock tail fish there, I think. I haven't done that for a long time. But that's a members for server. So if you're not a member in RuneScape, then yeah, it's not even that popular anymore. Rock fishing is good to have, but is it the best food? It's almost the best food. Let's go up. We're going to take a lot of hits right now. But normally in RuneScape, people use sharks. Sharks is good enough. Monkfish is kind of good. If you want to be cheap, just use shark. Overall, it's easy to maintain and buy. You only have 30 seconds left. Rats remind me of RuneScape. Skeletons, yes, they have some in Diner Village. It's not even that great. That is free to play at, at, at least. Don't ask me what is the best free to play items. I don't know because I'm not free to play in RuneScape. I haven't been a free to play RuneScape in years. I still play for my membership, so. Let's collect all of these coins right here. Let's continue. I think I hit that wood. We're just gonna be focusing on collecting all these coins right now. Those blobs, if it was purple, it looked like muck in Pokemon. If it was purple, oh, that's kind of purple, right? That's muck. But isn't muck, you know, smelly and and bigger than that? Evolved form of Grimer. I only know the first season of Pokemon, people. I don't go into Pokemon Black and White, X and Y series. No, I just know the original 150 Pokemons, okay? Maybe like uh, Johto League a little bit and that's about it and I stopped watching Pokemon I was a bit crazy during the 90s I was a big bull Pokemon fan back in the days in 1998 And I think Burger King or McDonald's usually have those Pokeballs Which just plastic right and I used to throw it pretending that um, a Pokemon will come out 
I actually like Onyx because it was so big. And it looks cool back in the days. But you get a Squirtle, you get a Water type, it's basically dead. Ground types I do like because they have Earthquake and Golem has Explosion or Self Destruct. You only do that when you're low HP. I do remember it was like Pokemon Blue original, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Yellow with Pikachu, Pokemon Green never actually went to the United States during that time but you can still play Pokemon Green in Japanese. I don't think it got translated, I can be wrong though. And of course it's Pokemon Silver and Gold. Those are the original Pokemons that I grew up with. I don't play any new Pokemon games now, it's because I have no joy of playing Pokemon games anymore. I did play Pokemon Go a little bit, but I stopped. Because Pokemon Go is pretty much dead. But I remember when Pokemon Go went out in 2016, everybody was playing it. In 2024, it's basically dead. No offense to those YouTubers out there that love Pokemon Go. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's just, it did dip a little bit. Okay, I think we're gonna go back like this. You know that bug? It looks like those bug in Mystic Towers. You know that old man in that DOS game? Mystic Towers was the bomb. You gotta solve problems, puzzles, and you gotta destroy the, the generator that generates demons. I don't know what you call them, but if you ever played Mystic Towers in a DOS game, it was actually really, really fun. That's what those bugs remind me of, like that, that teal one. Let's continue, wave 9, hopefully we can make it wave 10 before we die. You will die in this game, but don't worry, you're just gonna get the souls, coins to actually upgrade your character, that's about it. All these mucks right here, I'm gonna call it muck because, you know, it looks like a muck. And these look like kind of gargoyles in Slayer's Tower in RuneScape. If you were in Slayer's Tower a lot, you know what I mean. You gotta have that the hammer to smash it, right? But now they have two belts, so you don't need to do that anymore. I'm just gonna kill time right now. I'm not sure you're gonna what you're gonna call that wood thing, but I'll just call it a pseudo woodle. That's the only tree Pokemon I can think of. Just a gap right here, about this might be a death sentence for me. Yeah, just blow more down here so we can actually abuse this little gap. Hopefully we can make it in 5 seconds, yes we can. Alright then. Wave 10, let's go. Wave 10, reach. Oh, there is a boss, we're still dead. Hopefully these bugs are not gonna kill us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's running real fast though. We gotta get out of his range distance this troll looking monster right now at least we regenerate over time I don't want him to rush and charge at me come on charge straight okay he's charging at least we're not gonna have any support now because we killed all the monsters Oh, oh, he's so dead. Alright. What we're gonna do is create distance. Equal distance. Way too close right now. Charge, charge, charge. Okay. 
I don't think they have flash, splash damage, but we're just gonna circle around like that. Hopefully we can make it. Come on. Alright. Throw your little rock like the tank and look for dead. He doesn't give lead. If he did give lead, we might die. But it wouldn't work in a game like this, that's why. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Come on. Oh, he's gonna charge. He's so gonna charge. Don't run straight when he's charged. You know, run diagonal. We just want to keep our distance right now. Good thing they can only charge straight. If they can actually turn, that's more dangerous. Think of him as a really slow charger in Left 4 Dead. Alright, a few more hits. She's down. Alright, let's get all our gold and coins because we killed the boss. Let's continue. Continue till you die, basically, so you can upgrade character. Do not be cheap and save your coins because you don't need that. 1 minute 20 seconds seems a long time, but what well, technically it is. For a game like this, like one more hit, we're dead. Two more hits, but we're gonna recover. We gotta take this little gap right there. Yeah, this is, might be the end for us, people. You cannot go beyond this point. Yeah, we're just gonna go on this way. We survived with 10. And I'll see you guys next time.